This procedure begins with culturing fat, crawling Drosophila third and star larvae in a fly bottle. Using two pairs of forceps, the salivary glands are dissected away from the larvae. The salivary glands are then successfully fixed in two different fixatives in a two-well depression slide. Finally, the glands are squashed in a lactoacetic acid solution between a cover slip and a microscope slide. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Johansson in the Department of Biochemistry, Biophysics, and Molecular Biology at Iowa State University. Hi, I'm Wei Tai, a graduate student in the Johansson's lab. Today, we're going to show you a procedure for making Drosophila polyteen chromosome squash preparations suitable for antibody labeling. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study epigenetic histone modifications and their relationship to chromatin structure and gene expression. So let's get started. In order to obtain optimal polyteen chromosomes for high quality squash preparations, uncrowded culturing conditions are essential. Place around 20 egg laying female flies in a standard 4 inch fly bottle and change to a new bottle each day. Culturing at 21 degrees Celsius is fine for most purposes, but incubation at 18 degrees Celsius will yield fatter chromosomes that may be more suitable for some experiments, such as when band interband regions need to be visualized at high resolution. Select the fattest individuals from the first crop of climbing third and star larvae while they are still wandering, but just prior to pupation. The larvae are easily visible on the side of the bottle above the food. Use forceps to place larvae on a tissue culture dish. For each round of squashing, rinse two to three of the larvae together with water before transferring them to a clean dish of PBS for dissection. The PBS should cover the larvae, but time is not of the essence since the larvae can survive.